एवरीवन दिस इज एस एम आरिफ टूडे वेलकमिंग यू टू माय न्यू फोटोशॉप ट्यूटोरियल थैंक्स टू यू दैट गाइस हु जस्ट कमेंट मी वीडियो कमेंट सेक्शन एक्चुअली आपने पिक को एडिट करो दैट मींस एडिट योर ओन फोटो सो टुडे आई विल एडिट माय ओन फोटोग्राफी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द ट्यूटोरियल before we start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first go to the file and open up and here is my photographs and hit the okay button i just took this photo a couple of weeks ago and i used one light one spotlight that is the ad600 in the right side and i just just got that light from the right side and the one light and other things is dark so i wanted to add some dark effect for this photography so make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and camera filter and how i will edit that so at first i'll adjust the color of the things that means i'll go to the effects and dehaze this one a little bit and then just add some luminance of orange color and the saturation i'll decrease like that and hit the okay button so then uh, i'll just uh, retouch the face for the rough face i'll make it smooth so go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer if you want to more about the skin finer or if you want to learn more about the skin finer please check out my video description i'll give the detailed video link over there so here is the panel you can just add here the smoothing options so i'll add some smoothing like amount of smoothing yeah don't make it too much how fine will be like that yeah that's good and before one and after one you are getting here and then the saturation yeah i'll decrease the saturation a little bit and make the color like this yeah that's good and contrast i'll just yeah that is good plus 12 is good brightness i'll increase the brightness no i'll decrease the brightness just because of it will be overexposed otherwise so highlight i'll add some shadow and just add some highlight decrease the shadow and increase the highlight and hit the okay button so that's good that's fine and then just i'll go to the filter and camera filter i'll adjust other things in this photo so let's do it yeah i'll add some exposure a little bit and contrast a little bit and highlight i'll decrease that shadow i'll add some shadow like that and whites i'll make the increase the whites like that and blacks i'll decrease so if you want to make it warmy no i'll make it cool like that that's good and then the clarity three or four that's good and variance one or two and saturation i'll decrease so that's good and then the tone curves i'll go to the blue tone curves and select here and i'll make it a little bit warmy yeah and the green as well so i'll make it like that that's good and red yeah i'll adjust the red like that and from here yeah no i'll make it like this little bit that's good and the rgb just select and lock here lock here and just increase the chroma like that so from the camera calibration uh, here i'll make the primary blue color minus 30 and primary green color minus 39 and the red color i'll adjust yeah and from the hsl panel decrease the orange color increase the orange luminance increase the decrease the luminance of red and the saturation of red and yeah that's good and then i'll make it a little bit like that and add some like exposure a little bit and shadow as well that's cool and i'll save it and give you that things that preset actually 003 yeah 
and use it free i'm giving this one to you free of cost and that's the gift from me use it okay yeah before one and after one so you can add another effects over there so how to do that go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro 4 and this one color effects pro 4 that's the free things free plugins i'll give you that download link in my video description please check it out and here i'll using the cross processing here my favorite one you can use another another effects so here are lots of methods i'll use one of them so i'll use this one yeah here is the strength control you can control the strength and hit the ok button it will take time and give you the best output so let's wait for that let's get b41 let's see the b41 the rough face after one yeah that's good you can control all the things all the and you can write down something in this portion so i'm just selecting over here and take the white color and write something yeah and you can change the font uh, suppose here lots of font this one is good and if you want to add another color like the orange color that's good the boss and make it bigger and you can change this one i'll make it the yeah that's good and right press and blending options and the drop shadow adjust the drop shadow yeah that's good and hit ok so in this photo you need to add some like the spark or something so let's find out the spark so place this one place embedded and just select this one like that and hit the tick button and change the blending mode to skin and crystallize this one crystallize this layer and then go to the filter and the blur and the motion blur so adjust the motion blur like that and hit ok press ctrl t and make it bigger like that and hit the ok button so you can change the color if you need so in this one this one is orange type so you can make it orange like that so go to the hue saturation and make it mask and you can change the color mode like yeah this one is good yeah make the saturation like that so the boss this write up you should choose the color like this one so pick color from here yeah the golden color so you can make it more like that yeah that's good yeah that's cool i think the boss you can just give this font to here so in this photo this one place the type like that the boss and turn on this one so you are getting like movie poster type so you can use this one to facebook or other social medias or you can use it for your like uh, other stuffs so you can adjust the color of the font like this one i'll make it like this yeah it will be more warmy and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the things like a stock image this one is not stock image i won't give this one this one is my photography you can just apply this effect or this technique to your photography and if you need the preset i'll give you that preset and the font link in my video description so check it out and don't forget to thumbs up and hit the bell icon and subscribe until the next video i may say i'm signing out today and bye bye